I would consider myself a beginner level sewer. I used to be a lot better at it and do it a lot more often in high school. I had taken classes and I used to make my own clothes. And ever since then, I really haven't touched my machine in a really long time until this year, I've brought it back out. And ever since doing that, I have gone into full delusion mode where I am shopping and I'll see something and I'll be like, I can make that or I at least want to try to make it. And so that's kind of what this video is, a delusional trying to make my fall <laughs> wardrobe video. Anyway, I have a couple of things that I want to make with you. And then at the end, I want to show you some of the things that I've made previously um, that you guys have not seen because they haven't seen the light of day, except for one thing. Um, but I'm just going to show you those for fun. Um, and yeah. All right, to set the scene, I want a plaid blouse with a collar because I found this one fabric at Joann's and I loved the color of plaid that it was and just how soft it was. And then it reminded me of this co oversized collar top that I saw at Dams and Matter. And I love this. I love this tartan print with the oversized collar. My collar will not be that exaggerated just because um this is my first time following this pattern and i don't want to hack it. i just wanted this to turn out right i just want a basic shirt that has like a decently oversized collar with a ruffle um this is kind of my mock-up of that with buttons down the front and big bell sleeves not bell sleeves balloon sleeves um in this plaid fabric and i think it's going to turn out good I just cut everything out and there really are not a lot of pattern pieces, which I think is really exciting. So I'm just going to do fabric, but um, I was kind of, I thought there was going to be a lot more. So I'm kind of happy with this. I don't even know if I showed you the fabric that I'm using, but I found this really cute plaid. And I thought it would be nice as like an oversized blouse with like the ruffle collar. I just think that this color and like the specific pattern of plaid is really pretty. <laughs> all of my pieces I have all of the interfacings cut out now I just need to uh, iron them on and then get started this has taken me like hours to do it I should have done this yesterday finally at the point where I can start sewing so I'm going to start I'm just following this sewing pattern by the way I will link it it just so Good because it's so thorough there are three different options for shirts um, but I'm kind of hacking two together like long sleeves with the big collar option she also has really detailed YouTube videos for it and I love I love it when people do that with patterns because I am a visual learner and it's just so much easier and also like they get to tell you things that they can't fit into words do you know what I mean and her videos are really really well put together also so very impressed with this pattern it was $20 for like three and I will be doing it again and I already I haven't even done it yet I, again, I just wish I prepped yesterday. Do you know what I mean? Like sometimes when you're sewing and you like, you're like, oh, it'll be fine. And then it takes the whole morning. Like it takes half of the time to start. It's way more fun to just like do it, like start the stuff and then like actually get to sewing. Cause that's the part where I like at least. And they're both strip, which we will get. Okay, to start off, there's just a dart here and then a dart on the other side. And so I'm gonna do those really quick. So I started with my normal way of gathering where I just, you know, sew the two lines, pull on one until I have the gather effect. It was kind of giving me a hard time. And then it dawned on me that I bought a gathering fit on Amazon randomly in the middle of the night two weeks ago. First time that I'm using a gathering foot, but I tried to do it my normal way of gathering and I have to, or I had to like remove stitches because this fabric is just a little bit... It's just, uh, it's not stiff or anything. I don't know how to describe it, but it just wasn't working. And so I found this on how to use a gathering foot. I had already bought it and I just haven't used it yet. So let's see. I'm going to try it on just a scrap piece of fabric. So that's what it gave me. It worked. I just have to figure out the settings like that I want it at. 
because I definitely want more of a gather than that. Oh, here we go. This is crazy. Look at this. I'm shocked. I know some of you guys are like, duh, but I've always just used my hands. This is epic. This one, I guess. No one really knows. My God. Sorry, these ruffles are sexy with this thing. That's my new babes. Matan, you just watched me sew all of that because I did it. And now I have to flip that, okay, wait, now I'm confused. Okay, now one side of the uh, thing, the collar, and then I have to pin it this side with the interfacing. Don't be stupid like me and do both sides of the collar with interfacing because the pattern is not called for that. And it makes it a lot more confusing um, <clears throat> to follow the instructions. So I just ripped out all the interfacing on the other one and then we sew these together. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Cry, it's so cute. Okay, that sounded really fake. I mean, but it's really cute. How about that? I kind of stuffed the uh, seams, but that's okay. Wait, okay. Oh my god, this is gonna be so effing cute. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. I just pinned the collar to the top. Now I'm just going to so so. Okay, so I attached the collar to it and I'm we're really not going to harp too much on that because this is the first time I'm making this and I'm like over here it looks so good like the ruffle until there because I should have taken all of the I just I don't know why I didn't think to just um, remove those but when I make it again with a different I, it'll be fine and I will still wear this I do not care no one will notice I can honestly probably still seam rip those while it's on there I'll try anyway <clears throat> so I'm doing bias tape now around the neckline. Kind of like a light blue one. I was thinking about doing this. I'm like, that's too dark. Not that, I mean, actually, it really does. It probably would have been smarter, but I do like this. Not that you're really going to see it, I don't think, hopefully, um, but <laughs> depending on how I do it, but anyway. That's why I kind of, I feel like I probably mentioned this at some point before this, but I don't do patterns a lot. Um, I like to self-draft and I like to just like come up with things and then I end up hating them after because I don't do them right. Um, and I, it's, I don't know. I'm trying to get better about doing patterns because, you know, people have worked really hard on these and rather than just self-drafting and taking the whole day to like think things through, it's like maybe it's not the best use of time. Beautiful. This is going to look great actually. Okay. Okay. So if you can see that. I think next we're doing the plackets, which this is interfaced as well. I cannot do that. <laughs> and pay attention. Okay, Dottie. Girl. Leave time. First, we are gathering around the top part. Okay, I'm attaching the sleeves now. Ugh. Now I am just going over and zigzag stitching the edges. Now I'm just going over the sleeve and doing a quick little top stitch just so everything sits really nice and stays. Do you guys remember when I thrifted that like striped sheet fabric like this? Do you know the pants? I can't even think of the brand, but I think it's like a Swedish or a Danish brand. I think it's Danish. Um, and they have like the striped pants where one like leg is going this way and then one leg is going this way or one like leg is like a thinner stripe and then one leg is a thicker stripe. They're always sold out. And also I don't know like the size situation. So I found this and I was like, wait, I think I'm going to make a dupe of them. 
um, in this color, which I actually really like this color. So I just cut out all the fabric. Um, I'm using a pattern that I used previously. It's called the Easy Short Pattern. I found it on Etsy. I really like it and I just kind of hacked it to be pants. I just did my first seam and this is what they look like so far. So I think it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be cool. So I'm just gonna make these really quickly because this is a super, super quick and easy pattern. part sewn all the seams and everything now I'm going to do the waistband and I already put them on as you saw in the previous clip and um, yeah the measurements were good like all everything it fit they fit really nicely I just had to take a couple inches off at the bottom um, which I think I just need to adjust my pattern I always account for like I want really long pants um, and then I don't have enough fabric and I'm like why what, what happened and then I realize it's because I don't need them that long like to begin with and um, Yeah, so I'm gonna do that really quickly and I'm going to iron too. I've learned that um, I really enjoy the act of ironing my pieces. I used to be so I thought it was streamlined. Finally getting a little bit sunnier today out, which is kind of nice. It's been so gross all week, and so all I wanted to do is make this stuff. Finally got to it today. Anyway, I will come back when these pants are done. This is how it turned out. I, this is probably one of the things that I'm most proud of sewing so far. Um, I just feel like it just, I like the fabric I picked first of all. I think that's a very big component into why I like it so much. Um, second of all, the pattern was really, I, I liked it. I only have a few things that I'm like, eh, about. Like on the collars and ruffles specifically, like there's like a seam that you can kind of see. It. It's fine. I'm gonna redo this top on a different fabric too, because I feel like I really like it. And I would like to size it up too, because that Domson Matter one definitely inspired my want for like some kind of top like this. I think if I size this up and like hacked the collar pattern a little bit, I'm um, just to be like really big, I think then that would give the look and yeah, I can really customize it. But other than that, I really like this. I think it's really cute. This is kind of how I have it styled right now. Black thrifted Levi's um, and then my Target ballet flats that I mentioned. Also to layer this under sweaters, won't that be fun? I think this will be fun. I think with all the sewing, I did this in a day, which is not bad for like, I feel like it's kind of more of a detailed blouse than the ones I've done before. So um, yeah, a lot of wear out of this. I feel like you guys will see this a lot. And again, Joanne's like with this plaid, it's really soft too. It's like not flannel, um, it's definitely cotton, but it feels really nice. And so um, I had an idea of how to style this too, that I was like, they kind of match perfectly. The pants that I sewed, um, so let's try those on and then we'll do a two-in-one. I was already thinking about wearing this top with pajama pants, um, but then I thought, well, these would actually literally, they, the blues are kind of, it's kind of crazy how similar they are, but let's go. I love how loose and baggy these are, and then, to kind of jazz it up a little bit, I found these sequin. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do like a big fall haul eventually, but I found these sequined uh, flats at Zara, and I just think they're gonna be the perfect way to elevate anything like these. I kind of love how baggy and oversized. I did take them in a little bit um, from the initial pattern, and then I still, if you see uh, <laughs> sewing clips on them, it's because I need to have one side. Somehow one side ended up longer. That's the last thing I need to do. Um, then I might add a drawstring. I'm not sure. I left the space open just in case, but um, I really like how these turned out. These really look like the Maz Nagard ones to me, and um, I'm just super happy with them. They're really comfortable, and because they're made out of a sheet, um, they're really soft and stretchy and, like, not itchy at all, obviously. Like, I feel like that's why I really like, like, linens like that to work with because I feel like once they get on your body, they're not scratchy at all. So this turned out really good. I really like these. I'm trying to separate my legs so you can see. Um, the defining like shape of them. I'm not just standing like this. I mean, I guess I am standing like this for fun too, but. Here's the next one, which I can't believe I haven't showed you guys yet because I'm actually am proud of this one. I followed a pattern and it, I don't know, I really like this. I wanted to learn how to make like these tie tops properly because I had made one. I'll show you the next one is, I, I think I made that one 
before this one. I'm wrong. Anyway, I found this um, fabric at Joann's and I was very into lobsters and this like just in general like with the food patterns and stuff this summer um, and I find I made this at the very end of summer so I haven't even really gotten to wear it but um, it's really cute. It looks very pajama-y which I love love this will be so good once it comes spring and summer i will be saving it obviously i mean i guess i could wear the top throughout fall and winter not really winter but uh, but i think the topper on this is like, i made a little bandana with the scrap fabric and it's like not even because i didn't have enough but um I think if i do something like this this right this was for like the full vision this was kind of what it was, you know? Can't see out of these sunglasses. They have like a heavy prescription. But I'm, I hope I'm in focus, we'll see. Um, and this is what the full look is meant to look like. And I thought this would be so good, again, for like a summer barbecue, a summer dinner, or like even just to go to the lake in, or a picnic, if, I don't know, anything in the summertime. I feel like this would have been so good. Um, but this fabric was a really good, in my opinion, Joanne's fine. It was just like a random cotton fine that I didn't know if it was gonna work for this, but I think it does. Okay, I gotta take these off. Styled with some loafers right now, which I kind of feel like I would style it with. These specific loafers, especially in the winter, or I mean, especially in the spring and summer. Um, but yeah, I like the sleeves on this too. This was my first time ever doing like a, an elastic sleeve like this with like the little ruffle. I haven't cut the threads off of any of these yet, but um, yeah, oh my God. I put the next one on, as you can see. First of all, this dress. Okay, it has stains on it, I don't know if you can see. I wanted something, I saw a vintage like towel dress um, in some ad or something on Pinterest in the middle of the summer and I wanted to make something so I saw this terry cloth material at um, Joanne's so I was like, okay, I'm gonna try that. And this was my first attempt, this was a self draft, it was crazy, I just, did, okay, I did take like a dress uh, that I had, like it was just a sleeveless A-line dress. Um, the one that I used for my Taylor Swift, my Eras Tour dress, um, I used that and then I just added like little cap sleeve kind of thing. And I really like how it turned out. My very first time working with like a terry cloth material like this. Um, and if I could go back and do it again, I would probably do a contrasting trim. I think that would be great with the bias tape. And then also I would have gotten different buttons. These buttons just kind of don't, I just, I'm not loving them. Um, also, it, I don't know, there's something about it. It looks like a sleep dress or it looks like you shouldn't wear it out of the house, but I love that about it. I like the color too. And then this hat, I have had the hat, but I wanted one that I could have like in a tie. So I just added this little part to it. And then I also added these that I found on eBay, which I just think are so cute. And the last, I'm very excited to wear this one again. I did end up getting to wear this one one day on the lake. I did get to, and that's why I have salsa on it. Restaurant after, and so I, this was perfect for that though, by the way, I had my swimsuit under it, and so we were going to eat after, and so I was like, this is literally perfect to wear into like a restaurant. My mom actually picked up like a navy fabric in the Terry, and she wants me to make her one. So I'm gonna try to perfect it, and I did make a belt with it too, but I just kind of like it loose. I think that's the whole point of it, is to be kind of comfortable and like not form-fitting, you know? So this is it. Here we have another random self-draft. I thrifted this picnic-y blanket, um, and I was like, I want picnic pants and a shirt, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I literally just, yeah, again, this is really just a random self-draft. I do like how it turned out. I did like the little peplum um, with elastic in it, so it gives that like going in at the waist, you know, and then it flares out. I just love how it flares out. This fabric was really good for this. It's kind of stiff, um, and I think a lot of people probably wouldn't like it because it's so stiff. Um, I love it. I like that it kind of just doesn't move. I did do two ties here and I wish, I think I might go back and make them a little smaller. I feel like they're a little too big, but I'm not sure. What do you think on this one? Overall, I like how it turned out. And the pants, the pants are on, barely. I cut the pattern way too small. I think because I was initially, like how I did the like striped pants that I made with you in this video. Um, I was like, they're just so big and boxy. I was trying to kind of fix that with these and then I ended up going way too small. I think I'm gonna do that like tie thing. You know how the pants, you've seen the pants that have like the ties on the side. I think I can expand these with that or just add a panel because I do have extra fabric. I'm gonna see because I do, I want to savor these. And right now I'm on my period so this feels like a torture device. Honestly at the bottom they're perfect. It's really just up here. I think I didn't account for like stomach and butt. I just need to do it. I've had them done and also I made this for the end of summer and then I just 
didn't get the chance to wear. And I, I've been saving all these things. I didn't want to wear them and then not be able to, I did post a reel when I did make this though. Wait, I wanted to show you guys first. So now I can actually wear these things, but this I think I can wear always. I also showed this piece, I forgot. Is this in the way? Oh. T-shirt is, this was just kind of like a concoction DIY. Um, where I wanted like a bikini style t-shirt top um, and I also wanted it to be in my favorite style of oversized t-shirt which is the parade sleep shirt which I always talk about and so I ordered one specifically for this and then I ordered this on eBay it's like hand crocheted I just didn't have time to do it and I wanted to get this like DIY done so I could wear it and I did get to wear this one also one day on the lake so that was a success in itself. How it turned out, I just kind of sewed it on and it looks kind of shitty, but that's kind of what I think is so perfect about it. I love it and I love that it's kind of like messy and doesn't make sense because in the back it looks like this. I don't know, I just thought this was fun and funny and I'm going to wear this all fall and winter as well. I think that it's ironic to do that, which I love. So I really like this hat. This was also very easy. I actually did it. That's why it turned out not as good as probably if I take my time on it. I, again, I think this was a self-draft. I just wanted just something very simple, a simple peplum kind of style top. Peplum, peplum maybe not. I don't know. I always get those two confused. Um, but I wanted like a big puff sleeve. I really liked this fabric that I found at Yet Again Joann's because I, that's the only fabric place that I know of around me. I really liked the texture. Now on the overall design, I loved it before I added these ruffles. Now I'm unsure. I just, I had it as a boat neck and I didn't finish it for like a couple of weeks and it was just sitting there. Then I finally was like, okay, what can I do? And I saw something on Pinterest and it had like ruffles on like something like this. And I was just like, okay, maybe I'll try that. And it turned out kind of like clownish, which I don't care that it looks like clown. It's just that the way I did it, I didn't tack these down correctly. And I don't know, like I like the ruffles. I just need to figure out how I can maneuver that. You know, I think this is technically reversible too. Like I can wear it either way. It's better than the other. No, this is definitely the back, but I don't know. I was thinking about like this with like black and white track pants. I wanted a top that I could wear with things like that. And I think it turned out good. I don't know about this. Like I said, I could always just cut them off and turn it into a full on boat neck. With like pajama pants like this, I just wanted it to be kind of like a top that I don't have to think about. I just throw it on. And so with pajama pants like this, I kind of like it. <laughs> This was a very delusional project that I thought that I could do, um, but I was watching a ton of videos on DIY like jackets and things like that. And so I was like, I want a flannel jacket. I want to make a flannel jacket to be able to make a skirt that matches it and have a set. I was like so keen on that. And so I started this. My first mistake was not following any pattern. This was a fully self-drafted kind of thing but I just wanted to I couldn't find one that I liked and so I was like I'm just going to do this and so I wanted it to kind of more cropped like it is I wanted like a fun funky collar and I really like the shape again this is just free <laughs> freehanded I don't have any tools or anything for that I used interfacing but I didn't use the like I didn't use the right thickness I wanted it a little bit more stiff um, and then I did I did interface or line this coat with um, a felt as well because I really wanted it to be, have that that stiff kind of feel to it and like look and so there's the flannel and then the interfacing inside is like the flannel as well and then in between that there's the felt but and it took me a really long time and I really had a good time doing it it just was kind of frustrating not totally well executed you know what I mean I still need to add a button here but that's how like the cuffs look and the side I kind of like what I did here with this but it also doesn't really line up um, I wanted kind of some sort of something on the sleeve, but no, I'm not really sure exactly what I want to do with this coat yet. Um, I definitely want to finish it and I'll still wear it because again, I did spend, it was a labor of a love. Um, and I like the little pockets that I made. Again, these were kind of just freehanded and random. I feel like this definitely looks homemade. Um, but again, I, I really do like the plaid that I found for it and like there's a flannel. Um, and it's very cozy. It's really warm. And so I'm going to try to think of something. I also don't know how to close it. 
I don't know if I want a zipper. I probably definitely don't. Um, I feel like I will mess that up on this and or I want buttons, but I didn't pre-plan the button thing. That's what also frustrated me or I'm just going to do ties or like those like I'll close it in some sort of way that'll work with how it is now, but um, yeah, I don't know. I need to figure out this as well. When I look at it, I'm like, I kind of like it more, um, but I also still just, I missed, I wanted it to be like, wow, that looks like Acme Studios. And that's what I mean by like delusional. I was on Essence looking at like inspiration on what to do for different parts of it. Like when I would get to the arms or like whatever and um, and how I wanted it. And so I was, it was just really just like decide as you go on the fly, but. Lastly, you guys have seen this one. I don't know if on YouTube, but I've definitely posted on Instagram in a vlog or something. And I really like this. I found this one quilt at the thrift store and I was like, I want to make a coat out of it. Um, and barely a quilt. It's kind of just like a bedspread. Um, and I think I just want to, the only thing that I want to change is first of all, I need to redo the snaps. And second of all, I need to, I think I want it to be a little bit less of a bell sleeve like that. Again, this was self-drafted. You can probably tell. Um, because it just, it doesn't really make sense. I kind of, again, I was just kind of going with things that I wanted in a coat and I wanted one that had like a cowl neck like this that you could close. And I'm proud of how I lined it up because I didn't think about that until after I cut the fabric and I was like, thank God it works. Simple and easy. Um, and I just added like little snaps that I found on Amazon. Like I did like a little snap kit, um, with these pink ones and I did four here and then I think I missed one up there but on there I just chose pink too for it it's very soft and comfortable too I wore it it's like not too warm though like I feel like I can wear it out in the fall but the winter it probably won't be um because it's not super like won't be as warm I do really like how it turned out and I really like the green this is normally not something that like if it was already made in a coat I probably wouldn't have bought something like this because I don't know the fabric the pattern and stuff on it is like not totally my like first choice but when I saw it as a blanket I was like that could be great practice material and then I turned out really loving it and um I just think it's so cute like the fabric and stuff like the pattern a lot better on like the sleeves but this was my first thing out of all of these things I think that I actually did make and so that's kind of exciting to look at at the end of it you know um all of these things I was so I almost I just didn't show because I was kind of embarrassed of them but now that I'm looking back I'm like you can see my progress I feel like with the first thing um, like this and then the last thing which being like that blue plaid top that I just made I I don't know I feel like a lot more confident of how my really definitely not confident at all but like a lot more than I was so this is the last thing that I'm going to show in this video I hope you guys enjoyed this um, I'm glad I actually am showing this stuff to you because um, first of all, I know you guys are so sweet and not judgmental. So I know you won't be mean, but it's just like, I don't know. I just was feeling so unsure about it, but um, I had a lot of fun showing it to you and it feels kind of nice to talk about these things. Um, and now they can probably hopefully see the light of day, um, hopefully. And so, yeah, let me know if you like these kinds of videos, um, if you want more of them. I really do want to do a DIY hair like thing, you know, like the hair ties and stuff, um, because I really am looking forward to wearing a lot of hair accessories in the fall and winter because I have my longer hair right now and I haven't had it in the fall and winter in so long, so many years and it keeps getting tangled. So I'm like, I feel like it's the perfect season to be able to like wear it up into cute things like that. Like the Sandy Liang, like little flower ones and whatever. And so thinking about that, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you literally so much for watching and I hope you have the best day ever. You can subscribe if you're not already. I love you. Bye.